This video might get taken down, but that's not a good enough reason not to post it. A privacy group has alleged that TikTok tracked grinder activity through a third party. Now, the video I published just before this one showed just how dangerous mobile app data can be. French journalists tracked spies, military personnel, and elite police with data they bought from data brokers. But this is different and potentially very messy. So the allegation comes from a privacy advocacy group that I've referenced a few times called NOIB, and that stands for none of your business. They believe that a few companies involved in this have breached the EU's GDPR by sharing data. But honestly, it's worse than it sounds, and we'll come back to why in a moment. NOIB says that TikTok tracked a user's activity on Grindr, and it only became known because the user was repeatedly requesting their data, which is a problem in itself. But they did eventually get the data, and then they saw what Neub describes as unlawful tracking practices. The privacy group says that TikTok likely used the Israeli company AppsFlyer to track users outside of TikTok. The withholding of that information could violate Article 15 of GDPR. But the bigger problem here is Article 9. Grindr is an app that is primarily used by the LGBTQ plus community. So this particular data share allows conclusions to be drawn about the user's sexual orientation. The use of this sort of sensitive data is extremely limited under Article 9, which is put in place to protect people from discrimination around sex life and sexual orientation. This isn't just abstract legal theory. In some countries, that sort of data could get people hurt. Look, it's bad enough that apps can track you from app to app, and I don't think that better targeted ads is a remotely adequate reason for doing so. But if TikTok really did gather such sensitive information through cross-app monitoring, it turns this problem a lot darker. 